Hello there, a very good afternoon to you. How are you doing today? Welcome to the program, The Assembly. I am Lord Lezer from the highest echelon of the British Empire. And today, as always, I've got two persons right here in the studio to discuss a very pertinent issue pertaining Nigeria, and in particular, an Amber State in view of the forthcoming elections come November 6th. Welcome once again to The Assembly. Today, I've got Marzi Chukdi, as well as the prof. Yes, we've got a prof right here with us now, Mr. Prof, nice to see you. Nice Good afternoon. You. How has it been for you? It's been months, actually. How have you been? I've been okay, though. but uh, I don't think it's months. It's just a month, I think. Just a month. Oh, a month. Oh, there about. Mm -hmm. Looks like months for me. Okay. Month of Sundays. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. How has <laughs> I mean, everything been with like you? One year, self, uh, it has been it seems like one year. Uh, <laughs> it seems like one year uh, to you. One that shows year. how much you miss him. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, I'm not that bad. Yeah, exactly. I see. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. So, Mazi, how is everything? No, no, I know. You look a bit casual today. You're not minding your um, garnishment of the beads and the rest of it. Uh, you know, the situation of the country. Not, everything. I, I, you I always think the situation of the country. <laughs> you need no changing, changing kind of it. So. Okay. You're not trying to be unpredictable, right? No <laughs> worry. Okay, I see. <laughs> All right, so quickly, let's get introduced ourselves, right? So, Prof, we'll start with you. Yeah. Good afternoon. I am Honorable Prof Zekwes, HPZ, and it's good to be on the show after a long time. Very good to be on the show again. What is HPZ? Honorable Prof Zekwes. Oh, some acronym right there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mazi. Um, Ibondi Oman again. Tiyomu, Ubuwe Wichukudi. Onu Neli Eli Wang, no cast out. I have been going for Tata on the assembly. We don't get any intimation from Jinaka. We don't do it. Okay, national anthem as always. Perfect. Arise, O compatriots, Nigeria's Kolobe, to serve our fatherland with love and strength and faith. The labor of our heroes past shall never be in vain. To serve with heart and might, one nation bound in freedom, peace and unity. Let's from the highest echelon of the British Empire. I attended nothing less than 38 parties yesterday. It is you, Jack. or Yoruba. You're back on the program, the assembly, and today we are talking about the importance of voting in elections very very important topic it looks like many nigerians have this thing they call voter apathy or what you may call political apathy depending on the context but this forthcoming election in anambra state talking about the elections in two weeks tomorrow is actually something of great importance to the state and we are actually urging people out there to go out and vote but it looks like they have lots of reasons not to actually take the risk of getting to the streets and voting for their preferred candidates. So today, let's talk about the importance of voting during elections. I've got Prof as well as Mazira here in the studio. Prof, I will prefer your enlightened view about this, okay? The importance of voting during elections. Um, I don't know, it's no longer news how very um, cold Nigerians are to elections because they see it like it's either when they vote, they feel that their votes do not count, or they would see it as a big risk to actually go out there and queue up to vote. Or they could just say that uh, um, they wouldn't have such st um, strength to actually go and join the long queue waiting for them to vote. There are lots of flimsy excuses, which to some actually are tangible. So what do you think about the whole voter apathy? Well, um let me start by saying that uh, looking at the voting process prima facie, you will come to understand that 
the fact that Nigerians, most Nigerians, an unquantifiable percentage, most times, of Nigerians, don't go out to vote because, uh, because of something that's happened before. There are 220 million Nigerians, 250 million Nigerians, 220 million Nigerians. That's Kada. That's the range. Mm -hmm. And somebody will be winning a presidential election with 15 million votes. That means a lot of people are not coming out to vote. Why? There are so many reasons they give. They, they, have, they, they, they give quite a congeny of reasons. One, that the votes don't count. Two, that, um, that, that there is no togetherness. There is no togetherness in the country. Three, that there is a relationshipless, relationshiplessness and friendless, friendlessness between the government and the citizens. And you need to understand this. Well, uh, I don't want to go deep into the other aspect, but so many reasons are responsible for, the, for people not voting in election. But the topic implies importance of voting. The importance of voting is many, unquantifiable. Just that we here have refused to acknowledge, we have refused to understand, to decipher, to fathom that importance. Okay. This is franchise. Somebody's right. Somebody's right. Something that is not negotiable. Something that is not, something that you cannot take away from a human being, a homo sapien. You must exercise that right. <laughs> homo sapien is the scientific name of a human being, like homo sapien. You get? Okay. So, it is the importance of voting can be denied. You okay. must cast your vote. There is this there is this sense of belonging it gives. Yeah, before we get to the importance of voting, we are, want to start with the reason why people actually not see a reason to vote. Right. That is the voter apathy, okay? And I think I would prefer you because um, at least we are within your constituency. I'd love you from what you've seen for years as regards these voters, how they s seem to grow cold feet when it comes to voting. What could be the reason, aside maybe the ones mentioned already? Um, there is a uh, much thinner reason people actually vote like Apart from the general thing that is happening, even our men of Bodova, mm -hmm. uh, the fear of uh, unknown government, fear of a lot of insecurity issues now mm -hmm. na happen in Nigeria. But in as much as all this thing, name, or what the issue, the last time our governor, Obiano Jela Abuja, Buari Kwelyankwa, Buari assured us that he will tighten the security. Because no are the up security. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to tell the people of Anambra State, bo, I am a waka ayalionye. Igotago. Anara waka ayalion because this is the only opportunity, power, ane nye ndi the masses power to mm -hmm. save the state. This okay. is the only opportunity, ane nye ndo madi ndo bodo nda Anambra opportunity. He decide. Okay. So, so when you are at Nabro, no governor, you will go and that Kara Fuzere name and Nobura, Nibet Matana and Scobla and wish that Ketana as it matter is now that there is enough security. There's only your name that on that day that nobody should know worry about anything that you got know, security and everything. Yeah, okay, it's just customary that during elections they definitely have to beef up security. So, yes. but even at that, it still doesn't give these citizens the confidence to actually go to the polling booth to actually cast their vote. So, is it aside the security matter? Mm. What then could be? Is it that these people do not believe in the electionary process, or could it be that just? You all should tell me. You all should tell me because I'm just saying this from assumptions. I believe you all have been in the field and you know how these things happen. Okay, you've mentioned insecurity. What else could it be? What else would it be, Prof? Now, um, just like I said, mm -hmm. relationshipless, relationshiplessness and friendless, friendlessness. These are reasons. Between the government and the citizens. Okay. That, that division, that bipolar, opposite, identity, inclined style of thinking hey. that is in the mind of the citizens. What will I gain if I vote? Okay. What happens if I vote? Why am I wasting my time if I vote? These are the things I've heard on the streets. Man, how can you give a chine again or something for trying to choose a leader? No, 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 no,
that there is electoral malpractice, electoral Machiavellianism, and electoral backwardness, electoral malversation. They believe that, that is what's going on. And it's obtainable in every election. But in a put it, an average no, man people, believes that. Uh, you are putting down, it as down. if it's in the people now. And no, 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 no. Uh -huh. I mean, what is already in their mind? When you go to cast your vote, uh -huh. and after, your, uh, after you cast the vote, mm -hmm. and then it is clear to you, clear, visible to the blind, audible to the deaf, it's clear that this person that was declared winner isn't supposed to be the winner. Everybody, 70% or 80% or even 90 okay have I'm come out to say that. that they don't want this person and then he's declared what happens it will transmutate your thinking now the question the question now is how is a person that is drawing these statistics certain that it's actually 90 percent of persons that does that don't want this particular that person. is why i said 70 80 90. however how sure People is the person uh, because okay. you know the, the place i'm certain about yes. is where you cast your vote, right? Yes. The place where you went to cast your vote. Yes. That is basically where you can be certain because they have yes. to count everything and in your presence, they count and also paste. All okay? right. So you can see these things. Mm. Now, before you are able to draw that conclusion, you need to also calculate just as it was in your own polling booth, other places <laughs> as well, and then you okay. try to draw all these things up. Or are they just living in mere assumptions or I could say presumptions? No, 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 no. See? Okay, let me just give you another reason. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. 2015, 2011, 2019, there were reports, 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 reports mm. of shooting, sporadic shooting. Okay, are we done with the whole people not believing in the system and down to security matters? No, like, it is the same shooting. Like, they are coming to, to shoot can to scare people so you. that they can scamper, they can run away, they can flee, they can abscond and forget. Oh. Because when you are running for your life, you don't care about anything. One man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. So when you are running for your life, you don't care. So when they come and shoot, people run away. And then they carry ballot boxes, go to wherever it is, okay. wherever it is, do what they want to do, and then... They print results. Um, a Doctor drum, results. Drum and I must say, uh, you know, uh, see, uh, see, uh, no. look now. Drum can you look no, at see, watch. Man, see, you. see, you know, so many rules, mm. so many things happening are just superfluous, mm -hmm. superfluous in the highest order. But uh, he, 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 does, he doesn't really <laughs> matter <laughs> to people. He doesn't really matter to people because orders of mandamus can come from nowhere. Order of Guinea. Order of Mandamus. Go Mandamus. Go Mandamus. Go can come, come down. Can yeah. come from anywhere. Indecipherable orders can come from anywhere. And what do you expect? See, most Nigerians believe that even the theory of psychopanicism yeah. cannot save the decaying, the dead, the maligned, and the finished electoral system. What is that theory? Explain the theory to us. Psychopanicism is the theory that yeah. um, the body, uh, the body and soul rests after death until until the last day when it rises again. Well, you have to bring death and life into this. Of course, discussion. there is no way. There is no way to bring it back to life. And the worst part is, people continue to believe more. More people continue entering it in the cauldron mm. of this belief. Um, on your chat, right, okay. on your chat, I, I yeah. want to chat me with prof. I'm, I'm battling to understand you as well. Man, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, my concern about the masses. Okay. Are you getting me? To the masses, the people of Anambra State. Kedi Kabashi Akwado election na come November 6th. That is my area <laughs> of concern. And today is uh, 20... So, to so the visit, the, the last visit our governor went at uh, Abuja mm -hmm. with, the, with the president. That's Nearly serious. every assurance. Yeah. So my own area is the masses. Can you how prepared are they? Maka this election. Go when I wanna inquire again. People, prof now prof is talking his own idea. You got to But imagine that every week on that very day, people will just feel reluctant at home. The masses who have the right to choose the best leader for this state. Abazi Anolo. I can't run at that side. That is my own. Okay, well, this, these are the things that will determine if they will sit at home that day mm. or if they will come out to vote. 
Okay, because and if if you're not checking the security to be sure that it's well intact, mm. and if you're not certain that after voting your vote will count, or if they will shoot sporadically in the mm. air to disperse it so they can count the votes illegally, mm. then how then are you sh are you convinced to come out and vote? That is what I'm telling them. At least our governor, who is the father of the state, has gone to Abuja and come back. And they, assured us. they all go to Abuja and come back. Mm. No, but at least that one do go to very you can count the very open and. The, the assurance only the very the, the, the promise was hefty. Mm. Okay. Okay. Only in hope okay. that only people hope that they should come and vote no worry when they Buari Jilonya could that he will tighten the security. Yes, of, of which do, of which he's doing actually. Yeah, he's doing that uh, actually. In, in still, uh, what is happening in Anambra? Yes. Uh, will I say a few days? The man then were a little bit calm. Yes. You to, yeah. Then we're a little bit calm and you, you have to go in terms of security and other other aspects. So that one alone has showed us that we go a bit risen. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, did you understand what I just talked about? Yes, I think okay. I, I could relate to what okay. you're saying. Yeah, you, 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 you're, you're, you're more like um, mm. stressing what the governor of Anambra sa um, State says now, um, through Buhari okay. mm. that you should go out there and vote because the security in Anambra State is, is, is being beefed up. Yes. Actually, I stands right now is, is beefed up actually, but mm. on that day it's going to be much more than this. So mm. there is nothing to be scared about. Mm. Just make your decision yes. go out there and mm. vote according to mazi because how can you be a citizen of a, a state the only opportunity for you to choose your leader yeah always say that day no 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 it's not not more of okay governor and now you make issue we are more of a bronc more of our opportunity mm. the opportunity of the people mm. to save the state as you know, this is the person, this is the wrong person, this is the bad person. For Tazian in Igwe, for Tan in Igwe, come and choose that person who you think is the best person, is the right person to take care of this nation. All right. Yeah. Well, just like I, I said, very good. So, I went out with a, like an Esau that sold his birthright to the, because of one porridge. I'm so to who? So the to undo le shi, I'm a Abraham ka Isaac in the Bible. Let's Whoa. not be like man. People that are talking to understand what I'm. I cannot have a good Bible of man. Are you a man? You what are giving the way? Bon ton be. And vote. Mm -hmm. Do our that only opportunity in life power to save to decide who will rule this nation. Let us exercise it. That is what I'm saying. You what are giving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perf. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just like I said, uh, um, the, the, the electoral <laughs> process is considered bunkum bay. It is considered bunkum. It is considered mumbo jumbo. Hey. It is considered nonsense. It is considered. No, it, it is considered by who, who are those considering it? By so many Nigerians. Why, why are they considering it see, uh, that way? See, man, watch. Let me give you a, a simple analysis. Okay. In the United States, if you see the way people come out to vote, mm. despite the fact that most of them vote with their phones, vote with mobile apps and so many things, they are voting because there is that faith, there is that belief that that vote will be, uh, that that vote will count. But when you sit down and you look and you see your votes don't count, come on, after voting, what happens? They will do their mama electoral, um, what should I call it this time around? They will do their mama electoral dance macabre and produce some spineless puppets and put there. Now, that is what I call political philistinism, political prebendalism, political, political quadmaya, political jingoism, and serious trappings, serious trappings of political sardonic and lugubrious pagmaya. Mm. And if, 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 if people continue to lose that belief, first of all, there is no electronic voting in Nigeria. That's number one. Are you sure about that? Because I think they, they are, are trying still, to do something uh, uh, like that during this election. I think they will implement that during this election. Are you sure so. they will implement it? 
how certain can we be until we see it happening? Okay. You're being rather too pessimistic about the whole no, no, thing. No, 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 or no, no, I could no, say... No, no, no. We are not even talking. I can never be pessimistic. Our there are two ways of answering a question. Don't go to that side. There are two ways of answering questions in Nigeria. You answer questions based on the preferable and based on the realizable. I believe in answering questions. I don't give a damn whatever it is that I think or whatever it is I believe. I will say it based on that which is realizable. So you're saying that e-voting isn't realizable in Nigeria? I mean that the use of it is not completely realizable. Well, nothing can be absolute, actually. Of course. So it starts from a process. That is why I keep saying that complacence will continue to elude Nigeria. Because complacence is foreign by elephantinely pantagruelian ooze compendium of effort, hey. which we cannot bring. Okay. And, 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 I, I, I think, I think, no, no, no. I think we should go on a break. See, uh, huh? right, right. I think we should go on a break, okay? I just, a break. just, I just, just break. take a breather, okay? Take break, all right. Be right back, just stay with us. Great news for a number of broadcasting service, ABS audience. You can now watch ABS television through any of these ways. Buy a terrestrial antenna and connect to your television. Search ABS Channel 24 Orca or ABS Channel 27 Onicha. Install Star Times Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 113. Install Metro Digital Cable Decoder and search ABS Channel 29. Watch ABS TV on your smart TV or smartphone by downloading a number of broadcasting service app on Google Play Store. Also watch via ABS Facebook page at ABS. ABS Radio Television and ABS YouTube page at ABS Television Orca. ABS TV is now also on satellite. You can watch us from anywhere in Nigeria and other African countries. Simply install RTV Decoder brand and tune to channel 315 or install any free to air satellite decoder and search for ABS TV. Whichever option you choose, stay abreast of breaking news, documentaries, children's shows, talk shows, comedy, sports, movies and lots more on your darling TV station. For Adverts and program sponsorship. Contact 0803-388-8526 or 0806-883-9902. ABS, Heartbeat of the East. The importance of voting in election is our topic for today, bearing in mind the forthcoming election in Anambra State come two weeks from tomorrow. Are you ready to vote? Are you actually going to vote? I think it starts from you making up your mind that yes, I'm going to vote. And the question now you will ask yourself is who deserves my vote? You're back on the assembly. Okay, um, we rolled out the, the, the causes or the reasons why um, Nigerians are rather to um apathetic when it comes to voting okay mm. so now let's um talk about how to get those things in order for at least people to boost the morale to give the people the reason to come out and vote because actually it's not so easy i can imagine coming out in the hot sun and standing you know bearing in mind that anything can happen because nigeria is not I safe that that's this. the truth before you mm. remember that right now nigeria is not safe that's the truth okay so now coming out there and standing in the queue mm. without knowing like okay what would happen next yes all right and then you waiting for your turn to reach and going out there to vote even in the sun and in the rain you just have to cast your vote now this some this for someone to do this he needs an assurance what then is the assurance how can we tell these people that yes these things are intact these things are in place there will be security your votes are going to count there won't be anything like rigging of my practice everything is going to be smooth although i don't expect everything to be smooth but at yes, least some assurance some assurance yes but i think it starts from the individual from him or her deciding okay it's a will you have to take okay i've decided i'm gonna go out there and vote so i expect to go there i miss the risk yes, it's a risk yes. mm. i miss the risk but it's risk something the, yeah, the yeah but it's something i have to do as a good nigerian as a patriotic, good yes. patriotic and as a good only anambra exercising franchise too. exactly you know not, as a good not citizen even, not even a jingoistic person but let me just uh, say what i want to say one, one, one of the problems now is I have heard people say that on mm. the day of election, 
they go there, accreditation waste time, they okay. don't bring the voting materials before yes. time, people waste a lot of time, and after waiting for three hours, and nothing happens, you get angry and you go your way. That's fact. There is, there is a clear call, a clear need for an overhaul, a clear need for a tremendous amelioration mm -hmm. of the voting process of Nigeria, because it has put citizens in a paroxysm of lacrimosity and anguish and pain. Mm. It's bad. Mm -hmm. Because people that go to vote, they are doing it from their heart. They are doing it because they believe that they should be voting. Yeah. And then you come there, you scan for three hours. Nothing is going on. You have not seen any voting materials. Uh, 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 the, 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 the officers that are supposed to conduct the election are showing less a fair attitude. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You don't say that. So, um, by the time you I look at it, that, on the usual, it's yes, it is, it is, it is a, the Nigerian factor. It's a Nigerian Thank factor. You. Both pre president, Thank you. 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 But all the and obvious and came up, we have natural in yes, all the election in Nigeria. <laughs> Axiomatic. So, uh -huh. In all ramifications. Mm. And don't forget that civic education has all the trappings of fallacia petitio principi. Yeah. What does that mean? Fallacy so of begging the question. What does that mean? Yeah, I have to be sure. Okay. Yes, of course. Okay. Fallacy of begging the question. Why? There is a lot of... You said civic education has a fallacy has, of... Has all the trappings. Most of the teachings in civic education have the trappings of... Oh, of, the teachings yes, in civic education. Okay, okay. Because you cannot be telling people something that is not realizable. Just give me an instance. Let me understand. Give me an instance. In civic education, yeah. you are told mm -hmm. that um, election is uh, free and fair completely, mm -hmm. that uh, it is a citizen's right to come and vote. Yes. You are told that uh, rules of voting in Nigeria is after accreditation, uh, they send your vote, they, they, they compute your vote and send it to where the vote counts and results are released. Is it true? Most of the no, things it, it, in... Uh, they tell you these things for you to yes. know. If they, don't, if, they don't, if you don't see those things, then you yes. know that, okay, this shouldn't be. And yes. then you make it be. Yeah. Okay, so I see no reason with that kind of teaching. Now, uh, okay, it, it is just because we are discussing um, election. Uh, uh, election today. Mm. I would have told you... Uh, a lot of things that prove that civic education no, has leave, leave, men leave that siloquence and lampoons in them. Men that show stories. They will tell you that uh, after after right. after election, when there is a case, when matters arise, and then and then they come to council, they come to the tribunal that uh, when somebody is poor, that he cannot get a lawyer that they will get him a lawyer, that there are lawyers that defend the poor. When you know that in Nigeria, Niger for mm, short, mm. that when you don't have money and you are in a, and you are in a case with a rich man, you are finished. Man, I brought the case I need daily to That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to drop the point. The civil education is demanding. That is something everybody, every citizen. You want we we'll have to come we'll, and okay now. Give me confused. Number one, among others will confuse Let me just land again in another dimension. Land, they are land, they are kind you know of that the prices mm. of tickets, the prices of forms to contest election is on the high side. No, I don't think price that I, I don't think election. that should be our bother right now. Okay, I believe see, for you to like go out, see, yeah, election. yeah, for, for the candidates, for the candidates, see, right? Yes. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's not get this thing I all wide. I'm saying this. Okay, why? When it is time for the overhaul, when it is time for the renovation, when it is time for starting anew. Because every mindset seems to be turning askew. There is no bilateralism. There is no multilateralism in what you are doing any longer. When it's time to renovate the system, all these things will count. Because every citizen you see on the road out there, if you want, now we can go out and ask people. Every citizen you see on the road out there can mention at least 10, 10 reasons why they don't prefer voting. On that day, you see people telling you, I want to travel, I want to have my honeymoon, I want to do this, blah, 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 blah. On the day of election, and uh, those who are executing these electoral parties hey. are smiling, enjoying the advantage, because as usual, business as usual, on election, people will not vote, and they will go and do what they are doing, fabricate and concoct stories, hey, and hey, post hey, it up hey, there, hey. and it's accepted, and, and that, people don't care, that, nobody cares again. Prof, and it is better for us to realize prof, that it bro. takes both the citizens and the prof, government Obama, to drive public bro. policy. It's not a question of waking up one Let morning, you say one thing, and then you say 
Saint Roman Locuta Echo Safinita S. It doesn't go that way. You cannot decide on your own Prof, uh, on something relax. and you say what era demonstrandum. It's not done anywhere. Okay. We must understand that this is a democratic system. There is no federalism here. What we are doing is committing of backwardness and cluelessness. Starlessness. That's the truth. Prof, it try go. Ima no ngo kem kiri mago. Uya ma ibu golu eni ngo ke. So of course, adding to even nava akova concerning citizens during the day of election. Highly understandable. You know, that on that day, some people will travel, some people will, will leave, will go to the Abbey, go for Nobody honeymoon. Nobody is life. what I'm saying. Kedizulu, he goes in as a citizen of a state. The only opportunity in will come November 6th to come and vote. vote. Okay, okay. Now, now, that's a question. That is what we, we, I'm... We would answer that question, but I want to call you to order. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you are a prof, mm. <laughs> rather of quite experienced and exposed. Mm. Okay, when you say some things, especially um, for the public consumption, you have to state them with fact. Of course. Okay? If I not, can prove if them not, if you not, want. Just that we don't have time. No, if, if not, if, if not, then you wouldn't you would rather just simply add allegedly. That makes it sound more meaningful both to the perpetrators and the non perpetrators of the said um, acts. Uh, sorry, okay? Uh, right, that makes right, it right. more balanced for people right. consuming the the information you're sharing and because you just can't say that your votes wouldn't count and even if you vote they're going to rig it okay i know the nigerian factor they will try to rig it it's normal and they have tried not just in nigeria not just in nigeria it's everywhere it's everywhere too. human beings are naturally ambitious they will go at any length to achieve their aim okay so they try to rig elections but sometimes it doesn't work out so no doubt they, they will all try to rig there could be um, some scare by shooting and you know stuff like that because they want to just achieve their selfish desire but mm -hmm. that notwithstanding that you try doesn't mean that you get it okay so when we are stating all these things let's be clear on words and not to just right. say and, one thing and that wouldn't have that some balance. our governor promised us security too yes 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 oh, yes, yes no doubt it's, uh -huh. it's actually the, the the president that promised security and the governor had to come down to ensure us of the president's promise okay. and of, of course some days back a couple of days back the president said that this election come November 6th is going to hold and there is no stopping it. Yeah. Okay? And we are, there, there is, is no, no stopping it. it. Exactly. And it will be free and fair. Yes. We are not disputing it. Yes. I'm only saying my own. No, you've uh, said yours. yours. But, but you should and know. And my own will go to the masses. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, now, assume you answer that question later. Madam Kisi, you know the same thing. Okay, prof. what's the question actually? I forgot. Prof was... Prof Nakawamaka, the people, say the, the citizens will just come on that day and travel and yeah. leave the election day, some of them will go for people their honeymoon that. and go for their destiny. People do that. Yes, yeah, so people may do it, but my own concern is what the question I'm asking to the masses now, what is the gain that the only opportunity we have to choose the best leader for this state? Yeah. I better say on that day, that little few hours. Yeah. Few hours that, that will that last for four years. That, that, because that, that, the few that, hours you spend will determine yes, what happens in four yes. years to come. Yeah, yeah, my own, so okay, you, them, so it's, it's really crazy. Unless it's really there crazy is how a, people get a that, 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 that is my own distinct. Okay, okay, it's, it's crazy. Up, so but, but I understand. Unless this, there is um, come up with Emma, Emma that this is that the power is now in their hand yeah. to come and do this. Yeah. Fine, the president, governor, Jega Abujabata, promised us security. There's a vote to choose the right person for Anambra State come this November 6th. Kaimalu, let us know that sometimes the problem is in the government. This is a time for the citizens to sit up. Of course. Mm -hmm. For them to sit up and come and decide who will be the leader. That is why I Anambra. said mm -hmm. that it takes both the government and the citizens to yes. drive from a public policy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. What era demonstrates Duma, Roman, Lokuta, Ecos, Africa, S doesn't work. Oh. You cannot just come unless you are running a government of totalitarianism and authoritarianism. But as far as it is a democratic government, it cannot work. Okay. That is another place where civic education. No, leave, leave that one out of it first. Okay. I want to ask I want to ask you both a very straightforward question. Good. And I would expect you to say a yes or a no to it. Starting with um Mazin. Um do people's votes count in Nigeria? Yes or no? Don't think too much about it. 
Yes. <laughs> Do people's vote count in Nigeria? Yes or no? Professor. Uh, yes or no, the two of them. No, it can't be that way. <laughs> yes <laughs> or no. No, I will yes. It cannot be and cannot uh, because, not be. See, yes or no? Yeah. See, our states, see. our country is a somebody multi party system. Somebody who has read as I have read, I somebody see. who has studied as I have studied, mm -hmm. cannot answer that kind of question like that. Well, that's why I had to make it a closed question that would deserve either a yes or a no. Okay, if you say yes, I ask for a reason. If you say no, yes, it counts. Sometimes it doesn't count. That's the truth. All right, so we'll go for a break. When we come back, we'll get to talk more about how much the voters vote counts. Do stay with us. The Guna Premier to the Aka no game of Tony Governor, Zelo Bayara, Iramburu, Nampo of Tandio Zodi Chiche, Angas and Usurge, Menkopta, Awa Bokanandolo, Inek, Nebani, Menabun to the Aka, Mobeban at Cotton Sunazo, Olum Copta, Elequana, Mobutanko vote, O Balo, Mabrika came up your Nihugi, Mbine Lapo vote, Gin a loud Nihugi, Uche Gidia Nikine, Mabui Ego, Simba, Nerina Rego went to vote to Gi, Macano game to Tot Nihugi, Elequana vote to Gimakego, Chetakwik with Jimmy Nonogi, Debon Wagocha. Manosa kwa nosa, eji boche kesa, mabuti njore COVID-19. Men tuliaka, mawencha kwa. Ozi asinaka, utolu Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Ime kantuliaka kisu ina onogu. Ime kusuro jitonyo kuoche ya, kusia ike. back on the program the assembly today we are talking of the importance of voting during election and before we went for this break i asked a question do people's vote count that's a very big question and this question will go a long way to determining if people can actually or would actually come out to cast their vote okay now having asked you the question i also want to ask you some leading questions to that during elections i think i've witnessed a couple of them you would see um, the canvassers of votes representing different parties, they always come on the grounds in order to, to um, I'm trying to use the best word there, okay, to lure people into voting for Lobby. them. I want to use the word lure, okay, because uh, they don't always use money, sometimes they use foodstuffs, sometimes they use the power of words okay so they have various ways of doing it so the main thing there is that they're trying to persuade you trying to lure you into voting for the candidates it's what is attainable or obtainable uh. in nigeria now if these people are doing this okay if these people do this every now and then they even sometimes employ some thugs to go and disrupt the voting process in order to make much more votes count than the ordinary ones that counted. In other words, they try to manipulate the voting and also try to thumbprint um, on various um, um, yes. platforms of Even their own party in order, to, exactly, in order to make those things count. That simply shows that people's votes count. These candidates who know how these things work wouldn't actually be interested on the ground, on the street, in, yes. the, in the field, mm. when they know that they can as well go up there and do something and then they would be declared winners of the election but they had to go down to the street and do what they thought should be done in order to make much more votes count for them that simply follows logically that people's votes count i don't really care so much about what happens eventually at the main place where they collate the votes but at least at least this is a social media age, okay? Mm. We are in the age of the new media mm. where you have to actually, you can follow anything. Once the votes are being done, you're taking pictures of that already. You're snapping the, sh the shots of the, the, the collated votes in your own area. And then you, are, you have the facts. And when this thing comes out and it doesn't tally with your facts, mm. then you have a reason to protest. Do you understand? Yes. So it makes, these are votes, if votes do not count some 20 years back, right now it counts much more. Than yes, it was then. See, so why is it at home? I am not disputing these things. I agree that there is a latitudinarian predisposition of voting matters. You may tell agree. She there is yes. Ah yes, of, yes, of course. So, bro, I, I did not. That's why I said just agree. now. Mm -hmm. There is a latitudinarian so, predisposition mm -hmm. in voting process. There is. Now, 
votes do count. But those people that have done printed on over 100 ballot boxes, those ones are not votes counting now. See, if people actually come out to vote, it will reduce the, 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 the possibility and probability of electoral malpractice. Uh -huh. It will. Mm -hmm. I, 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 like that, I, like, I like that point. Is, if people will, come, out come out to vote, to vote it, will it will in a big way reduce, yes. or let me say minimize, yes. the possibility of my practice that is, that in a Why? In a Why? That's because because yeah, yeah. People, the people will stand. They will watch what is going on. Yes. And they will lynch whosoever it is. No, 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 you won't, See, you won't use that word know. lynch. Right, yes, okay, it's, yeah. it's so much a word right. to use. Yes. They will mob. Okay. But no, 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 they will protest. That's the word to use. Okay, yes. yes. They will protest. They will contest anything yes. that is contrary to what they expect. Now, if you stay at home, the actual truth is, they know the total number of uh, registered voters. Yeah. And it's that number that determines what they will release for each polling unit. Exactly. There are 5,700 and something polling units in Anambra State, or, uh, I think. Uh. So they will release these things, and they will come to the 326 words of Anambra State. They already know how many. So those who are in their houses, and they discover that people did not come to vote, yes. they will simply I go there. Problem. Those people who problem, did not I come know. to vote, exactly. they will collect their own and manipulate this thing. And yes. it ends. That's a very that nice now, idea. Now, see, we are looking, we are clamoring, we yeah. are seeking, soliciting for an egalitarian society. Egalitarianism in class society. And there is no latitudinarianism, there is no, there is no sensitivity, there is no cooperation, and you want it to work. What will happen? It will mm. end up in the theory of utilitarianism. That is just the truth. Prof, if if people go, come now, to go, vote, go, if now, people what? come to then vote, you know if they come out in mass to cast that vote, mm. imagine that there are 300,000 registered voters mm. and 297,000 Come, come out to vote. and put their papers. Thank you. You, you are only left with less than 3,000. 3, 3, 3, 3, because surely that will be rejected by a lot of course. Uh -huh. People will make errors in one so, of the places. Right. So before you finish manipulating what people have finished, oh, no, 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 it's over. It's so but when a huge percentage, a bigger dominant percentage of people who should come to vote sit at home, balance, <laughs> balance, glaring, whether it's a cursory or superficial glance, sitting, doing nothing, what happens? Some people can even resort to malingering about on the day of election. It's bad. Okay. Mm. Um, that's, I love this mm. last submission of yours. Mm. That is my area. A very enlightening submission, yeah, I would say. Good. That means uh -huh. you, you are aware of what goes on in the field of mm. elections. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. Just some cool. I support them. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. <laughs> now, I would love you, as we're running off right now, to address the people of Anambra State. Okay. okay. In a fortnight tomorrow mm. is the long-awaited election mm. in Anambra State, come November 6th. Okay, and it's a very big day, a day that counts, a day yes. that will determine the next four years in Anambra State, mm. one of the biggest states in Nigeria, of course, light of the nation. Mm. I would love you to, as much as you can, address the electorates out there who may be thinking if I should go vote or not, or if it is even worth it, or, you know, many things may be going through their minds. They're all human beings with lots of thoughts. Just address them as your people, yes. one on one. Um, you will be well, readily go and go see a regal. I have been going on the tat, be con. Can I ask no Gakalaki Lugon on the November 6th? Go no abuna for Tani Gwe because this is the only opportunity I've been done and brown to decide who will be our next leader. Go when I will know government, I never say government in K government in K. November 6th, don't know abuna, should come. The number of votes I am will determine who will be our best leader. Then as you call no abuna, kaiti na aka kaiti aka. My voters card I do go ready that day that day. Ekwe ga ekwe that security yard do tight. Kai bunu na awu sana na aka. Even na aka ko no abuna malo. Kai futan niigwe that day. Kai decide ya choose onya we feel in onya the best person to lead Anambra State. Eke ne kwe mu. All right, thank you, Master Chukdi. And there is nothing more patriotic than you going out there to be a leader by choosing your leader. This has been the program, the assembly, and I am Lord Lesser from the highest echelon of the British Empire. Until next time on this program, we say to you, bye.